What's up guys, in today's video I want to go over how to prepare for the DLC one coming out on December 19th. There's a couple things you can do to get prepared to make playing the DLC a lot more fun and just hassle free. But one of the main things you can do is clear your bank space out. Make sure to go in your bank and look at every single piece of gear you have. Make sure it's not just sitting there being useless. I know I did this and I found so many items that I just had in there for no reason. This is going to clear a lot of space up. Also, if you're trying to keep your prized possessions, I would say you can put them on your wall mounts you know most of us have to get in the game just put whatever legendaries we had on the wall mounts just to fill it up to make it look orange because you know that's what we would like to do but now since we're later on in the game if you have prize possessions that you like aren't really using you can put them on the wall and take the other ones down which is also going to clear your bank space up another thing to do for the bank space definitely check to make sure your anointments are on your specific characters i had a couple anointments that were for other characters and i just had them in there taking space up so i got on my other characters and i just transferred the guns and speaking of anointments another thing if you have a gun that doesn't have an anointment i would honestly just say trash it unless it's something you completely want which is totally fine but if it's not i would definitely say just get rid of it to clear your bank space up for the new items coming in with the dlc because they're going to be new legendaries you know shields class mods weapons and you definitely want to have space for them now another thing you can do is make sure you have the gear you want to use on your character at the top make sure your build is the build you want to be using going into it and make sure you have all the gear you want for the build I would also try to minimize the amount you carry in your backpack as you will be picking up a lot of new items throughout the DLC, probably just trying to test stuff out. So just take what you need and enjoy your run through the game. Finally, the last thing you can do is definitely try to save some money up and if you have enough already, try to buy as much bank SDUs as you can. I know they're super expensive, I don't even own all of them yet. But if you can get as much as you can, having more bank space is going to be a blessing when this DLC comes out for all the new gear. So on top of you clearing everything out, just random junk you don't need, and having more bank space, you'll be going to this DLC feeling very, very good about yourself because you have room to put everything and test new things out. One, I guess, final thing you could do is make sure you have corrosive because obviously loader bots are going to be the thing in this DLC. So they're going to take a lot more damage from corrosive. So if you have any corrosive weapons, which you probably should since the Molly won't take down, it's been a thing. I would definitely make sure you keep a couple of those on there just to make the gameplay a little easier. But anyway, that's going to do it all for me. I can't wait for this DLC. Definitely expect to see things like new builds, new item reviews, new weapon reviews. Uh, there's going to be a new class mod. So definitely expect to see new builds uh, with everything coming in the game. But anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.